All right, Shalom. Another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety. To you sincere icons, man, pushing right. this Bible week in and week out, regardless of people here for a bit, man. We're gonna get we're gonna hop right back into it, man. Um what, what did I name it though, bro? There's nothing to fear. Oh yeah. Look, there's nothing to fear, man. Fix the camera right quick. Speak right quick. Yeah, you know, it's nothing to fear, man. You know? And that, and that, and that's the uh, preferring to the uh, the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Because these videos we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, which consists of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Why? Because we have the true and living power. Because a lot is coming down the pipeline, man. You got martial law coming. Mm -hmm. You got the famine coming. All type of things that come all hell going to break loose. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and look, a whole lot of guys that know about this truth, man, scared to teach the word. Mm -hmm. You know? Scared to, uh, to acknowledge themselves as Hebrew Israelites, you know? They, they'll get on the comment board, shalom, shalom, shalom. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, they would never make their face known to the world right. that, that they truly believe in this thing of ours. They truly believe in Yahweh, Bashmiel, Shai. So for the elect out of the nation of Israel out there, man, um, there's nothing to fear, man. Right. It ain't nothing to fear. We're going to prove it according to the scriptures, man. Because guess what? The God of the Bible got our back, man. Right. Right. The uh, first one you can get, bro, is um, 2nd Ezra, yep. the 16th chapter. I'm going to start at 74. Because you have a body, Shemel Rashad, got out of back, man. You got to believe that too, man. That's right. Straight up, man. You can't let your faith waver, man. You got to have faith in the God of the Bible, man. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, bro, before you read that, get um, Hebrews 11, yep. um, verse 1 and then yep. verse 6. Because you got to have faith in the scriptures, man. The scriptures tell you that the God of the Bible is going to do something. You got to have faith in it, man. No matter how um, rocky the road may seem yep. or how um, difficult things may seem like it's getting, you gotta still put your trust and have faith in your house by Shemel Shai no matter what, man. Right. I don't care when, when, when the odds are stacked against you, man. Still put your trust in your house by Shemel Shai, man. Go ahead, bro. Yep, this is Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Right. The evidence of things not seen. Right. Like you might be, you know what I'm saying, going through the famine. You might not have nothing to eat. But what didn't the scriptures tell you, my servant shall eat? So you got to have faith in your house by Shemel Shai to know. You might not have food right now, but food is on the way, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, a, a bird might drop you some food, man. You have by Shemel Shai might grab one of the, one of the servants, you know what I'm saying, one of the other items from fucking cross seas somewhere. Yep. And bring them right to you, man. With a bowl full of um, stew or something, you know what I'm saying? It's well cooked, you know? Yep. Not like Esau. Not no red potters, but stew. Well cooked, man. You know what I'm saying? With some beef up in there, enough greens and all that, man. Right. Why? Because you kept the faith, man. Yep. You believed in the words you have about Shemel Shai, you know? There's nothing to fear, man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 6. I'm going to jump down. Hebrews 11 and 6. Right. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Right. So without having the faith and the belief in something that you don't see, because one minute you don't see nothing on the plate, but you know through the faith, you know what I'm saying, the fear you have about Shemel Shai, that something's going to end up on that plate, man. That's right. Whether it's a little or a lot, man, something's better than that, man. You got to have faith. And everything that the words say, you got to have faith, man. Right. You can't fear, man. You know? As Hebrews 11 and 6. Right. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Right. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is. Right. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Good. Yeah. So when the scriptures say you have faith in Yahweh, by Shemel Shai, now look, if you don't got it, you can't please the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. Okay? You're going to suffer for righteousness sake. At the end, you're going to get a reward. You got to have faith in that, man. You know? Our people say they love the Lord, they believe in the Lord, but they ain't got no faith in the Lord, man. When it comes right. to living the words, they don't live out these words, man. They, they do a whole lot of talking, man. A whole lot of acting, man. You got to have faith in the scriptures, man. What the, what the scriptures say? Matter of fact, um, bro, you finished with that? I got a quick uh, definition real quick. Yeah. This is uh, the definition for reward. Because the Lord said it's going to be a rewarder, right? Right. It says, a thing given and recognition of one's service, mm. effort, or achievement. Mm. Okay? So, let me put this down quick slot here. When you diligently seek the Lord, the Lord's going to reward you, man. Right. You know, because what? It says you were uh, 
uh, it was given to you for your service. And what's your service? Doing the works of the Lord. Right. right? Doing what's commanded of you and, and, and um, putting your trust in them, man. You know, not having no fear. That's right. You know? Now look, and you got to believe that, man. Done. You got to believe that. You got to have faith in that scripture, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? You can't read that scripture like, um, I don't know, man. The scripture say one thing, man. But I don't, I don't know, man. It could happen. It might happen. No, it's going to happen, man. That's right. You got to know that, man. Done. It says uh, some of the synonyms is recompense. Right. Which means payback. Yep. Look, prize. Mm. Award. And look, that's what you're fighting for, that reward, man. That yep. prize, man, which is the kingdom of heaven, man. No more sorrow. No more pain. No more affliction, man. Let the good times roll, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Look, living a righteous life, man. Huh. Without any trying, man. It's going to be in you, man. And that's our faith, man. That's right. And we'll see that, Lord willing, man. And the last one is a uh, payoff. Right. So this, this thing about it's going to pay off, man. That big payoff is coming, man. You know? You do, we're doing the work. Mm -hmm. Just got to continue, man. It's going to pay off, man. It's paying off now. Yep. If you're a spiritual man, you see everything that you're doing for your how about your mouth shot, it's paying off. As we speak right now, as we make this video, it's paying off, man. Right. You know? Shit, we're allowed to make another video. God. You know what I'm saying? To edify the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing. You know? That's right. Shit, all the brothers got roofs over their head. What does scripture say? Give me neither poverty nor riches. Mm -hmm. Just give me food, um, just give me food convenient for me. Mm -hmm. Something to the effect is roughly paraphrasing. You know? Like Raymond and um Yeah. So we get all of us got roofs over our heads. Yeah. We got clothes. All of our clothes, we got shoes. And they ain't got holes in them and all that. We ain't feeling water coming in our shoes and all that, man. Right. We ain't got Bugattis and all that, but we don't need that either. And we sure enough ain't downtown digging out the trash cans. Mm -hmm. You know? Because that's the scripture say that. Giving me poverty and no riches. Because if I'm rich, you know what I'm saying, then I'm going to deny the most high. Yep. You know, and if I'm poor, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to deny the most high. I'm going to curse them. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm poor and I got to dig out the trash can mm -hmm. now. And, and, and that's that balance, man. Right. And the Lord deals with balance, mm -hmm. you know. Anything else is all wicked. Yep. You got you right where you, where you need to be, man. Yep. Above water, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because one thing about the God of the Bible, they, they always want us to need them, man. Yep. Always, man. So, uh, did you want verse 7 or just, just 6? Just 6. Okay, come on. And I got some right quick. Come on. This is, um, and then we go to the, uh, to the other scriptures. This yeah. is Revelation chapter 2, which this is one of them anyway. Yeah. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. It's written in red as Lord Yahweh shall speak in. Fear none, because we, um, the name of this title is called, what again, bro? It's called, um, Don't Have Fear. Fear yeah. none of the things that are coming. Right, right. Some tell that effect. Yeah. You know? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what are some of the things that, that, that we're suffering? You know, being in this truth, family members don't want to be around you. You know, uh, uh, your old flings don't want nothing to do with you. Okay? You're being taken out of this world, man. Right. You know, anything that's not down with this world, the world hates it, man. Constantly being harassed by the police. Mm -hmm. Being mocked and scoffed at, you know what I'm saying, by the whole world. You know, things of that nature, man. Fear none of the things that you shall suffer, man. Shit, you might get shot, might get somebody might try to fight you. Mm -hmm. Might get a black eye for this truth. Who knows, man? Mm -hmm. A couple of broken bones. It says, fear none of those things um, which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That's right, man. So some of the men of the Lord are going to have to go, go to prison for this, man. Right. Men of the Lord, some men of the Lord are going to prison for it now. Right. You know, it has gone to prison for right. it, man. You know? Yeah, they got them concentration camps set up, man. Yeah. They're going to try to throw um, some of the men of the Lord in those things, man. And that's part of the suffering, man. Mm -hmm. You're up in the concentration camp, you don't know what the hell they're getting ready to do to you. But you but you know they're going to do something to you. Mm -hmm. But then, guess what? They might not do nothing to you, you know? Right. That, that's a test of your faith. What the scriptures get ready to go into, man. Right. You got, you got examples of the apostles and the elders, I'm saying, according to the Bible, they got locked up. And the angels came and broke them out of jail, man, mm -hmm. while the guard was asleep, man. Yep. That's, why it's, that's why it's a blessing to read, man. It builds up your faith, man. It builds right. character, man. Once again, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right. Behold, the devil, a.k.a. the so-called oh, white man. <laughs> you know, the, yeah, right, bro? You know what I'm saying? Was right. that sink, right? Right. Because the word devil means deceiver, man. Mm -hmm. You know, who's, bu who's building the prisons, man? It says, um, the devil shall cast some of you into prisons. 
Is it is it a red is it a red man up on the ground with a pitchfork? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Laughing his ass off, bro, with fights <laughs> around around everybody, everybody just burning like hell. Right. The prisons up on the ground, man. No, man. I'm just talking about on the ground, man. Okay. You know? Who's building the prison system? The so called white man, man. Right. So you get thrown in a concentration camp, don't worry about suffering that man. Mm -hmm. It says don't fear that, right? Right. It says, um, that ye may be tried. And then you're gonna be tried, man. Right. A test of your faith, man. That's well, right. look, fear none of those things. Right. Going back to the title of this lesson, man. That's right. Fear none of the things that's gonna come upon you. That's right. Like he was going through the stories, you know, of uh, men and little getting broken out of prison. Right. You know. So you might end up with um guillotine, you know what I'm saying, coming down on your neck. Mm -hmm. Don't fear none of those things. But shit, you scared to death, you know what I'm saying? That's how you know you he's all telling you, yo, you know, eat this pork, yo. You know what I'm saying? And we'll let you go, okay then, okay then. Nah, he is willing to lose his life shall save him, man. That's right. And a man is willing to, uh, is trying to save his life, he's gonna lose it, you know? Lose it, yep. it says, that ye may be tried. Mm -hmm. That's why it says, um, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. That's a part of your trial, too. Yeah. And ye shall have tribulation, meaning you're gonna catch a whole lot of hell. Right. Ten days. And that's just a, a, a time period. It right. It may not be an actual ten days. Right. It could be... You know, two days. It could be two months. Right. You know, who knows? Yeah. It's just the time period. Right. Be thou faithful. I love be faithful, man. Right. Be faithful to your how about Shimmy Alba Shot, man. Right. We just read what faith was. Yep. You gotta believe yeah, in something that you don't see, see, man. That's right. Your neck is in a guillotine. You got to know through the spirit of your how about Shimmy Alba Shot that you're gonna get delivered, man, uh -huh. before that guillotine hits your neck. Uh -huh. And if it don't, that's just part of your life, man. It is what it is, man. You didn't bitch up, man. Uh -huh. The times got rough. Um, be thou faithful unto death. Look, unto death, man. And to that very end, like he was right. going into, man. That guilty may be coming down on your neck. That's hey, right. look, you got to be faithful. Don't they look. If they try to uh, seduce you to eat some bacon. I know, right, pork. bro? Hey, nah, man. You know, because that's how Esau is, man. Yep. You know? And I've seen a lot of commercials on that, too, man. Yeah. More bacon commercials than a little bit, bro. Yeah, yeah. You have to be faithful until the end, man. Because scriptures is going to go into, you know, you're going to get that crown of life, man. You know, Lord can have it to where the guillotine may just break off your neck, man. You won't feel nothing. That's right. And get instant uh, spiritual powers right then and there, man. And then what's the saying? It was on like popcorn. Yeah, it's on like popcorn. I've a red and All right. You know, <laughs> I got a priest out for you. St. Yeah. Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. But it is written there and read as Lord Yahweh shot speaking, man. See, this, 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 these faith builder scriptures too, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's letting you know, man. I'm going to read it. But he that, uh, St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 13, right. but he that shall endure until the end. Mm -hmm. So this so this thing is about enduring to the end, man. Right. No one's saved yet. Right. Contrary to proper belief. So that's one thing you see, uh, Christians like to say, man, that they're saved. But what right. are you saved from? You know, Jacob's trouble. Trouble by the blood, right, bro? Right, right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Jacob's trouble is not here yet. I right. I mean, it's, it's rapidly approaching. But you're not saved from that martial law. Right. Okay, uh, concentration camps. That's the right. The RFID chip. The Draco. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, right. from PK-7. You know what I'm saying? Right, you're right, bro. The M-16s is coming. Them tanks. Yep. The missiles, the chariots. You right. name it, man. The famine. Yep. Pestilences. That's right. No, you ain't saved from that yet. Right. It says, he that endured to the, to the end. Right. The same shall be saved. But the same shall be saved. Right. right? Okay, that's talking about the elect. Only the elect is going to endure. That's right. Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be saved. That's right. That's why going right back to um, Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, down at the bottom, it says, Be thou faithful unto death. Mm -hmm. He that shall endure to the end shall be saved. you putting your life on the line, you and you're willing to suffer death, man, for righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't fearing that, man. Look at the Maccabean brothers. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They still tall, man. Yep. You know, not wavering. Yep. Because what? They had the faith, man. They didn't fear none of the things... That uh, 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 was Nebuchadnezzar. Yep. Nebuchadnezzar was going to do to him. Right. right? You know? They well, well, then, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was the Greeks. The Greeks, that's you right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Greeks, you know what I'm saying? Was, was doing what they had to do to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was Edomites. Dropping because, you know, they wanted them to eat pork and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But they didn't fear right. none of those things. Right. Because, you know, the scripture says, you know, don't fear the one, I'm going to paraphrase it, they can, they can, um, Kill the, body. kill the body, but uh, fear the one that can take the body and torment your soul in hell, man. Right. You know? So that's why they didn't give in to uh, 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 um, uh, uh, to the king, man. Right. You know? They feared your how about Shimei Shai, man. They didn't, so, so um, 
you have to be in that same light mind. You know? As the Maccabean brothers, man. That's right. You got you have to stand firm, okay, and have faith in your how about Shimmy Shad, man. You know, having faith in something that you can't see, of uh, being delivered, man. You know? But you know, our people don't know nothing about that though. I was trying to find that for you, but it's all good, bro. You know? You but Jim, I finished that off after you finished saying what you gotta say. Yeah, you don't know, you gotta have uh, faith, man, believe in something that you can't see, man. Right. You know? Because we're probably going to end up um, running up on that scripture anyway. Yeah. It says, um, Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And look, be thou faithful unto death, man. You got to be loyal. And the Lord's going to give you that crown of life, man. That's what, you, what the true men of the Lord are, are, are here being diligently seeking, man. That crown of life, man. You know? Being delivered on the chariots. Right. Okay? I think I got it, though. St. Matthew's 10. Okay. And while you're getting that, it says, it, the scripture said, be faithful until the end, man. And some of those synonyms, like I was going into, was loyal. Yep. You got to be loyal to your how washing me off shot, man. That's right. You know, you got to be uh, true. Right. You got to be true to the Lord and true to him uh, and the belief that he's going to save you, man. You know? That's right. Look, you got to be committed. You got to be committed and dedicated to this thing, man. That's right, brother. You know, you can't be wavering. Well, I don't know. Uh, I know what the scriptures say, but I just, I, I don't know. Right. You know? Food, food getting kind of low. The Lord ain't, ain't, ain't brought no food through the dough yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? See, the so-called white man said, you know what I'm saying? He got, he got some oodles and noodles and all that stuff for us. You know what I'm saying? One thing we need to do is take this chip. Prepare thy soul for temptation when you come to serve the Lord, man. That's right. And constantly endure, man. Yeah. No matter how rough the road get. Let me chime in real yeah, quick. Yeah, bro. And, and you know, you may down, maybe down to your last bottle of water. Right. But that's when you start to smile. That's right. That's when you start to, you know, get your hopes up, get mm -hmm. your spirits up. Because the right. Lord's about to do something, yeah. man. You know, you got to have that faith that He's right. going to come through and provide for you, that's man. That's right. We don't have nothing else but your help. I should be off shy, man. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I got it for you. Kind of. St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. Yep. And fear not them which kill the body. And that's Esau all day, these other heathens, man. You know? They're going to be coming after Jake, man. Right. You know, along with two thirds, and and and, and the uh, the men of the Lord, man. Right. You know, cause we we're, we're condemning their society. Right. You know, they they would want to put us down first, man. That's right. But what fear none that can that can what now? It says um Saint Matthew chapter ten verse twenty eight. Huh. And fear not them which kill the body. That's right, cause Esau can kill you, man. You know. He can do any, anything to you on this go-round. Right. He can do whatever he wants. He can kill you. But what? That's all he can do, man. Right. You know? That's why scripture ain't... He can take this flesh anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He can't take nothing else. He can't take the spirit that's within you. Right. One thing he can take is this flesh, man. That's it, man. And then you're coming back anyway, you know? Yeah. Look, bro, that's why, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, that's why um, a lot of guys don't hit the streets, bro. Because they fear the man that can kill the body, man. They don't really fear the God of the Bible. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's right. But then you got the knowledge of the Bible, but you steady fearing the so-called white man. When the scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. That's right. Not fearing the so-called white man. He going to die soon come with the scriptures tell you that. Okay. Why well, fear somebody that can bleed just like you? Right. The scriptures say that, man. Right. No? And fear not them. And this is this the Lord speaking, man. Mm -hmm. Lord, you have a shot. And fear not them which kill the body. Right. But are not able to kill the soul. Like he was going into, man. Esau can't do nothing with your soul, man. Right. You know? The Lord controls that. Right. And the Lord can torment your soul in That's hell. That's right. Which is bringing you back down here in a jacked up body. Right. You know, whether you, uh, you know, you come back just, you know. Um, blind, blind, main. Blind, main, lame, you know. Blind. Yeah. I said blind again. Lord, when you said it twice, right? Right. You know? A paraplegic. Yep. You know? That, that's who you need to fear. Right. The entity that can kill their soul, man. That's you know? Right. Not just the body, man. You know? And plus, you have about Shemel Shah, the issues of death coming from the Lord anyway, man. Mm -hmm. So, that's who you need to fear. Because the God of the Bible controls everything anyway. If you fear the God of the Bible, you ain't got nothing else to fear. That's right. But if you don't fear the God of the Bible, you have about Shemel Shah, then you got to fear everything that he um, created, bro. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. I got to quit. Oh, you, 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 you a little bit more. Yeah. 
but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Look right. how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Because he could torment your soul in hell, man, like we went right. into earlier, man. You know, come back blind. Yep. Come back with no legs. I know, right, bro? You know, you come back and, um, you know, you, uh, you can't talk. I know, right, bro? You can't hear your death. Right. All that you can do is hear. Right. But you can't talk or nothing. You can't move. Right. Or You're just there. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what, you know, and, and going back to the, the title of this lesson, man, fear none of those things, man. Right. You know, because if you put your trust in the Lord and you have faith in the Lord, hey, you can't go wrong, man. And that's right. fear. You know, which is why I'm bringing this precept right here. This is Psalms 34 and um, 7. Right. The angel of the Lord encamp round about them that fear him and deliver them. That's right. So if you, if you fear in the Lord, the Lord is going to have his angels deliver you, man. Right. You know? You got to remember, we can't see in the uh, spiritual world, man. You know, you may be have your head up on a guillotine in one of these concentration camps. Right. Okay? And the Lord can open up your your uh, your, your spiritual realm, yeah. your eyes, and you can see uh, the, the room filled with angels, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a joke. That's what I'm going to be a faith booster for your ass, <laughs> Exactly, boy. man. Look, all because you had the faith and you feared, man. Yep. Yep. You feared your power. Right. So don't fit on the things that's going to come upon you, whether it be a famine. Right. But you may catch a, a disease or something, you know? Because the Lord, the Lord got special powers, man. Right. Be able to heal and everything. Yeah. That was it. Was it on that? Yeah. I got a precept for what you just said. Come, come. This is on Jeremiah chapter 39, verse 17. But I will deliver thee in that day. Mm-hmm. And who is that talking about? That's talking about the elect, man. Okay? The elect of these so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and Hebrew Israelites. The Lord's going to save you, man. Right. Okay? Because what? Initially, you had the faith, man. That's right. And you put your trust in. And you put your trust like when it, when it says, I'm fearing none of those things, I shall suffer. Mm -hmm. I'm saying some of you shall be cast into prison. Right. But the Lord said this once again, Jeremiah chapter 39, verse 17. But I will deliver thee in that day when all hell breaks mm -hmm. loose in your life, man. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? When it seems like all hope is lost, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to keep your integrity. You're going to keep your faith, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, um, because why? The Lord said, what? Well, but I will deliver thee in that day. Mm -hmm. The time of Jacob's trouble. When, when America's really a lawless land, mm -hmm. said the Lord, Yahweh Bashmel Shai, and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the majority of our people, they're afraid of the so-called white men. Yeah. The God of the Bible said, I'm going to deliver you out of the hand mm -hmm. of the men that you're afraid of. Mm -hmm. One thing you got to do, you know what I'm saying, is don't fear. That's right. Fear me, don't fear nothing else, man. Right. I'm going to deliver you out of the hands of the men that you fear, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? The ones that have been shooting you down. You know what I'm saying? The ones that have been trumping charges on you. The one that's calling you a suspect. Right. The one that's got you in the interrogation room. You know what I'm saying? Asking you all these different questions. The one that got your neck in that guillotine. I'm going to deliver you the one that's got the firing squad ready, you know what I'm saying, to blast you down. Right. You know? The one that's getting ready to, to try to um, feed you to the alligators. Mm -hmm. Things of that nature. I'm going to deliver you from the man that you're afraid of. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid of them, though. Just fear me. That's what the God of the Bible is saying, man. That's right. Hey, you mean it says about feeding to the alligators, right? Right. Hey, what happened to Daniel and the lions then? Man? Right. I mean, the, the lions didn't do nothing to them. Nothing. Okay? And them lions were hungry, too, bro. Yeah, they had fed them lions in a minute, yeah. man. Yep. It, it could be just like that with the alligators, man. The alli well, you, you saw what happened. Um, they're trying to cut you off. Yeah, um, yeah. You saw the, um, the lions ate the rest of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. The lions ate the, the rest power, of them, man. Though. Yeah. The men that threw Daniel in, into the lion's den, mm -hmm. they ended up getting thrown in there and the lions ate them, man. Yep. Showing you the power you have by Shadow yep. Shot. Verse 18. Jeremiah chapter 39, verse 18. Mm -hmm. Look, for I was surely, do, for I was surely. surely. You know what I'm saying? No, um, surely means truly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For I was surely deliver thee. Mm -hmm. Ain't no if, and, buts, or maybes about it, man. Right. Because you, you getting delivered either way, man. If your spirit got to get taken back to the spiritual realm, to the heavens, mm -hmm. you're getting delivered, right? Yeah. That's right. If that guillotine um, break when it hits your neck and you escape about that, you're being delivered, man. Mm -hmm. A win-win situation. That's right. Now look, and thou shalt not fall by the sword. Mm. And you're not going to fall by the sword, man, which is Esau. Right. Okay? 
Esau is the ultimate sword right. for uh for um you know for two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Right. right. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The sword also rep represents any killing instrument. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, shit, the so-called white man got all kind of technology that yep. he bringing back to yep. do away with you Israelites. It says, um, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee. Look, because thou has put thy trust in me, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be a prey, man, because why? We put our trust in the Lord. Right. right? You know? And look, the Lord said, you're going to be a prey for me. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gonna make sure he get us. You know what I'm saying? Yep. He take care of us, man. He ain't gonna let nothing happen to the elect, man. The Lord won't be part of that, man. Right. We'll bring up probably like two more. There's so many juicy scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, just wanted to hit a lesson. Um, I forgot what the name of the title is. It's something to the effect of ain't no need of being fearful. You know? Right. I got a quick precept. Yeah. Why are you getting that? Yeah. This is the book of Numbers chapter 23. You already know where I'm going, 19. Right. Yeah, how was not a man that he should not lie? Right. That he should lie. Right. And that's the thing, man. So the Lord says he's going to deliver you. He's going to deliver you, man. Right. Okay? His words are faithful and true. That's right. Okay? It says, um, neither the son of man that he should repent. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Neither Yahweh shot, man. Lest he repent. He ain't going to turn back his words. Right. He said he's going to do something, he's going to do it. Mm-hmm. He, he have said, uh, Numbers 23 19. Have he said, and shall he not do it? Mm hmm. So the Lord said he's going to deliver you. He's going to deliver you, man. If the so called white man's going to slavery, he's going to slavery, man. You know? If you uh, trust in the Lord, he shall deliver you, man. Right. It says, um, Or have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Right. But at the point, man, was, you know, the Most High's not a liar, man. That's right. He's not going to lie. So everything he speaks is going to come come to fruition, man. That's right. This is on uh, 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 24. Only fear the Lord. And that's plain. Yeah, how about Shemini was shot. That's why the scriptures say, um, don't fear him that can kill the body. Mm -hmm. But fear him that can kill the body and soul in hell, man. That's right. You know, bring you back over and over. Keep tormenting you, man. That's who you fear, man. Only fear the Lord. First Samuel chapter twelve, verse twenty-four. Only fear the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and serve Him in truth with all your heart. Mm -hmm. For consider how great things He have done for you, man. That's right. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, you read the accounts that the God of the Bible delivered the children of Israel out of many different situations, man. They didn't think was possible, man. No, you know what I'm saying, and even even on this side, man, in this life alone, mm -hmm. man. Yahweh Bashim Shad has delivered us and has had our back, man. When we, when we didn't even acknowledge them right. as being the supreme powers, man. You know? The God of the Bible is bad, man. And we, that's, that's why we got to constantly fear them, man. Uh -huh. Don't fear nothing else, man. Because going look, because one thing about it, you're going to go through it either way, bro. That's right. You know? And I'll bring out one more, <laughs> then we'll wrap it up. Unless you got something, too. Yeah, Ezra 16. Yeah. It's Ezra, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 74. Right. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved. You know that's talking to the elect. Right. Yep. It says, Saith the Lord. Look, that's talking about the house of David. You know the word um, David means beloved. So that's talking about the, that's talking about the house of David right there. You know, the, a.k.a. the elect. Lord, when we part of that. Go ahead. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, mm -hmm. but I will deliver you. From the same. That's right. The days of trouble are at hand, man. Hey, look, Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching, man. They're going to be trying to chip the majority of you Negroes, <coughs> Latinos, and Native Americans. Man. Hey, look, man, it's getting ready to get busy out here, man. You know what I'm saying? They're on long walks in the park and all that, walking your dog early in the morning and all that, man. Them days about over with, man. Going to right. work, punching in and punching out, clocking in and clocking out. Yo, man, sitting at the park, watching the ducks quack, quack, and all this nonsense. Yeah. Hey, man, them days almost over with, man. Right. You know? Trouble is fastly approaching, man. Come. Jacob's trouble, man. I'm going to read down some more. Yeah. Verse 75, Second like Ezra 6 and 16 and 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, mm -hmm. for Yahweh is your God. That's right. Now look, don't have that doubt demon on you, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't waver. That's right. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say one thing, you got to believe in it, man. Mm -hmm. Don't be saying, don't say, oh, well, the scripture, well, that might happen. That could happen. No, it's going to happen, man. That's right. You got to believe in it, man. That's right. This is um, 
Did you finish with that, bro? Yeah, that was it. I finished it off with this. God. This is Psalm chapter 146, <clears throat> verse 5. Happy is he that have the power of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, Yahweh Bashemel Shai, his power. So our only hope is the Lord, man. Right. You know, which is the power of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. right? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hebrew Israelites. That's man. right. You know, our only hope is is, is Yahweh Bashemel Shai, right? Man. Not our guns, not our weapons, That's not right. the so-called white man, right. not the government. Okay? Not your drugs. Not your humor. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you think they can get out of you know, any kind of jam throwing a little joke out there? Nah, yeah. man. He saw he saw us preparing war on right. the Israelites, man. And you're gonna need the God of the Bible. That's why the scriptures say happy, man. That's right. Just like the scriptures say in Proverbs, what is it um three and thirteen? Yeah, it says happy is a man to find yeah, the wisdom. But well, the scriptures saying right here too, happy is he that have the power of Jacob for his help, man. Look, man, we got the creator of the heavens. The earth and all these different galaxies on our side, man. Yeah. That's protection, man. And you can't beat that, man. That's right. Because Chris is happy as he that had the power of Jacob. Right. The only true and living power, That's man. That's right. All the other heathens don't have a, a true and living right. power, man. We got the true and living That's power. That's right. So it says happy is he. That's right. You know? Shit, birds shitting on Allah all day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Fucking on day God and the fish God, you got birds shitting on him. Yep. You know, Santa Maria. All them idols are um, being shit on, shitted on, man. Yep. You got on some rapids, you know what I'm saying, over there in Brazil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's being shitted on right. by different animals. Somebody got to climb way up there and clean that tall ass statue off, bro. Yeah. You know, enough feces on that motherfucker. Right. You know what I mean? It says, um, verse 6. Look, uh, Psalm chapter 146, verse 6, mm -hmm. which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is. So I power the artist, man. Right. Created heavens, the earth, the seas, right. the things up under the seas. Right. And look, man, you how about Shah did that, man? That's right. All them other planets. Right. You name it, man. Everything. Mm -hmm. Which keepeth truth forever. Look, which executed judgment for the oppressed. Mm -hmm. So judgment is coming. Who's the oppressed? You Negroes, Negroes Latinos, Latinos, the Native American Indians. See, the God of the Bible, no said executed judgment for the oppressed, man. Mm -hmm. See, right about now, in Esau's system, there's no judgment for the oppressed. This is something happened to one of you Israelites. Ain't nobody, ain't nothing gonna happen to these heathens, man. Right. Ain't no judgment coming forth, man. Well, a vacation, a paid vacation, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? A couple of million, bro. And hey, look, you get a march, a march for you up the street. Right. You get a march in your, in your name. Right. That's about it. <clears throat> you know? It says, which giveth food to the hungry. Mm -hmm. We just said that, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to trust in the Lord because, look, shit, you might be hungry. We, we bring our faith right. in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? The evidence of things not seen. That's right. So the God of the Bible said, you know what I'm saying? He's going to give food to the hungry, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And look, um, plus we feed our people on this food for thought right here. That's you know right. what I'm saying? I will give you pastors according to my mind and mm -hmm. shall feed you with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures. That's right. Look, um, the Lord looseneth the prisons, the prisoners. Mm. And look, we prisoners of hope, man. That's right. We prisoners of hope, man. Okay. And look, and that's 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 uh, also if you in prison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Twofold. Twofold. Yep. Because the scripture said, going back to Revelations, that uh, uh, some of us will be, will be uh, thrown into prison. That's right. And be tried. Right. You know. So the Lord gonna loosen the prisons, man. The right. Prisoners. Mm. Look, the Lord openeth the eyes of the blind. You know, we was blind at one yep. time, but now we see. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, um, bless the your eyes. Yep. It says that in Matthew, the 13th chapter. You see, yeah. Yep. This truth, right? Mm -hmm. It says, the Lord raises them that are bowed down. You know what I'm saying? We bow down, right? we're in a um, low state right about now. Mm -hmm. The God of the Bible is raising us up, man. You got to love that, man. That's right. It says, the Lord loveth the righteous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the ones of our people that's keeping the laws, that's commandments to the best of their ability and trying not going on way. Guess what? The Lord loves you, man. Because what did God of the Bible say? He said, I love them that love me. That's right. Keeping these laws, that's commandments of the Bible, obeying what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. The God of the Bible loves you, man. Mm -hmm. So the God of the Bible saying he loves you, you most definitely ain't got nothing to fear, man. That's right. Okay? Don't fear nothing that's coming your way, man. Okay, what kind of tight squeeze or whatever type of jam you're faced with, man. The God of the Bible can deliver you out of any situation, man. Huh. All things are possible with our power, man. That's okay? Right. Can you close the statement, bro? Yeah, man. Just, uh, um, you know, keep trusting, man. Keep having faith. That's right. Because it's going to come a time where that, that uh, 
that 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 faith was gonna have to really kick in, man. Mm -hmm. You know, all, all of our faith is gonna be tested, but you gotta, right. you gotta stand tall, man. Right. You know, and we got enough examples in the scriptures of how to do that, man. Right. So fear none of the things that are coming, man. Keep your head up, brothers. That's right. Keep your head up. Don't fear nothing that's coming, man. Okay. If you if you're fearing the so-called white man, you ain't hit the streets yet. You got something to worry about, man. Right. Don't fear them, which can kill the body, man. But are not able to kill the soul, man. Huh. Fear him which can kill both soul and um, body and soul in hell, man. That's right. Fear you how about Shimei was shot, man. Huh. Hey, these videos that we do are only for the elect of the nation of Israel, which once again consists of your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and confusion of faces, right. which are Hebrew Israelites who just look like the other nations, man. Huh. It's, it's not rocket science, man. Right. Okay? Well, hey, look, persecution is going to come, suffering is going to come. But don't fear it, man. Hey, with that, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Next, double honors to the head of apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to this Bible. Mm -hmm. Peace, blessings, and safety to you, sincere Akims, man, the elect brothers scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Fear nothing is coming your way, man. Shalom. Shalom.